Hello, in this tutorial we're going to examine how to quickly and easily migrate your current website over to WP Engine. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is make sure that everything is set up here on WP Engine. You want to take note of your domain, uh, any SFTP logins that you may have, and that should be all that you need. So the second thing you need to do is go to the dashboard of your current website and install VaultPress. Um, if you don't already have a VaultPress subscription, you can get one at vaultpress.com. Once you sign up, uh, get your license key and install it onto your website. Uh, once it's installed, it'll begin making backups. Uh, of your site and that's what we're going to use to migrate from your current installation over to WP Engine. So once you have a full backup of your site what you're going to want to do is go into the backup section of the site that you're moving, locate the backup that you want to restore which in most cases will be the most recent backup of your site. Uh, so once you've selected the backup that you want, you're going to click restore, leave all of the check boxes here, and then click prepare backup. Now this is very important. You don't want VaultPress to restore your site to its current domain. Uh, you want to click change site and give it an alternate domain and you want this domain to be whatever your WP Engine installation is. So mine is jbxcrew.wpengine.com. So I need to make sure that that's what is being set up here. So let's change this jbxcrew.wpengine.com. Now, the other thing you're going to need here uh, is information for VaultPress to log in to your WP Engine servers. Uh, so you're going to select SFTP for your host. It's going to be the same domain. It's going to be, in my case, jvxcrewwpengine.com. Make sure your port is set to 22. Um, and you're going to need a username and password. I suggest creating a new login here. Um, as you can see, I created one specifically for moving uh, my installation over. So... Just enter that for your username, enter the password. Uh, for path, you can just leave it. You don't have to verify path. Hit save alternate site. It'll test your credentials and uh, once everything is good to go, you'll see a green check mark. Um, once VaultPress has finished preparing your backup, you'll see a big restore now button so click that now what VaultPress is doing is restoring all of your files over to WP Engine uh, it's gonna restore your database it's gonna restore all the uploads in your content folder um, so literally everything about your site will be ported over to WP Engine which what makes this process so awesome so once this is done restoring once you log into WP Engine dashboard and the domain of WP Engine, your site will be exactly the 